Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and today I'm actually super excited because we've got in our office the EOS R. This is Canon's first full frame mirrorless camera. It's got a 30 megapixel sensor, a redesigned mount. There's a bunch of exciting things happening. But before we get into the specs, let's first just go ahead and unbox thing. Now, as you may notice, the seals are already broken. Uh, unfortunately, I got a little carried away and cut the seals open before doing the unboxing. So this is a brand new unit, um, which comes with the user manual, a warranty card, and some promotional material. There's a standard charger, which is used to charge the battery of the EOS R. And interestingly, this is the same LP E6N battery that's found in Canon's full frame DSLR cameras. So it's nice to see that they've maintained the battery as the standard one. <coughs> so then there is also, um, now this is a very interesting cable and uh, mount arrangement. This is essentially used to basically, when you've uh, attached cables to the side of the camera, this bracket holds all those cables in place. And then of course, this is a USB type C cable at both ends to allow for data transfer, to allow maybe the video stream out, etc. So this bracket, if you're a filmmaker, you may be familiar with it. This is very essential to making sure that none of your cables get accidentally yanked out. So that's another thing to, be happy about uh, this is just a standard power cable for the charger and then now this is the EOS R kit uh, which means there's also a lens in here it's the 24105 um, f4 IS USM kit lens this is with the RF mount and in that regard this is a pouch a soft suede pouch for the lens you've got the lens hood right here a strap for the camera now this is very interesting we've um, there's been a lot of talk about Canon's straps you know when most manufacturers typically with their high-end cameras tend to give nicer straps but with Canon it's very interesting because you get the same strap regardless of the camera you buy and the only thing that really changes is the branding on it so there's that and then finally let's take a look at the two main pieces of this box. Um, now this is the 24105 RF mount lens. Uh, the 24105 is a focal length that is much loved. It's one of the most popular lenses by Canon. In fact, it's one of the most popular lenses being sold anywhere on any system. This is a very versatile focal length range. Um, this is, a, but this particular lens is an f4 fixed aperture. And of, let's just quickly take a look at the mount. The back side, this is the mount of this lens and this is not the e, uh, EF, this is not the EF mount, this is the RF mount. So Canon had to redesign the mount completely in order to create a full frame mirrorless camera. Compared to the 24105 that you guys would have already seen by Canon uh, the, for the EF mount, this lens is slightly different. One, it's got an indentation, so this should make differentiating between the focusing ring and the zoom ring much easier. Uh, there's also a convenient lock switch so you don't have lens creep um, that's pretty handy but what you don't get unfortunately is a focus distance uh, meter which you would find on the uh, regular EF mount 24105 but anyway enough about the lens now let's take a look at the camera itself I hope there's a lens cap and a body cap included so this is the EOS R uh, practically the size of their entry level uh, DSLR, the EOS 1300D and super light. This is about 530 grams in total. Um, this is of course without the battery, without a lens attached. And once those are attached then the weight goes up depending on what lens you're using. And over here you've got an LCD display. This is the mode dial over here. Uh, is also used to control the shutter speed. There's the dial over here for aperture and a very cleverly placed record button. It's super convenient to just kind of take into video mode instantly. There's a shutter button here. Um, there's also an on-off dial. Typically, Canon uses a switch, but this time they've used a different design philosophy, and there is a switch instead, which is actually pretty difficult to move around, which means you will not accidentally be switching the camera off if it's hand hanging against your shoulder and it just rubs against your leg or something. And then this is a fully articulated display, uh, which supports uh, touch. It's a touch screen. 
and uh, you can basically do a lot of things with it follow focus you can do tap to focus it's got a touch enable shutter so right now there's no battery in this the battery is also probably going to be dead uh, but let's give you a few features let's talk about what's really awesome about or what canon says is really awesome about this camera uh, of course there is the 30 megapixel full frame sensor that lies behind the shutter. Now this is really nice. This is something you won't see in most uh, mirrorless cameras. The shutter covers up the sensor. And what that means is that if you're changing lenses, if you're doing something that I'm doing right now, which is making a video, uh, dust is now gonna get in. So actually dust still might get in, but it won't be as bad as a non-protected sensor. So it's a 30 megapixel full frame sensor, not 24. And it's got uh, the, the sensor itself also has face detect pixels which cover 88% of the sensor horizontally and 100% of the sensor vertically meaning that the focusing system on the EOS R should be downright impressive. Um, we've actually done a quick hands-on and first look of this camera when it launched so you can refer to the photos. Actually we don't have any photos from there but there is a lot of experiential stuff. So the grip is pretty nice. Um, like I said the touch screen uh, looking forward to seeing what the output is from this camera in terms of both the images, video, and of course also judging the AF quality of the EOS R. So thank you guys for watching this video and uh, we're going to have camera samples coming up very soon. Thank you guys for watching.